Okay, before we move on to bump mapping our, or teaching you about the bump um, mapping techniques, I just want to show you now uh, how how it applies these bump maps. Now I've created a bump map chart which is called bump map chart one dot tiff and you will find it in in the directory with all the other all the other bits and bobs. And here it is. So this is what we'll be applying to a simple um, polygon rectangle within Maya. So I'm going to take this rectangle and I'm going to apply a Lambert shader to it. Now I'm going to come over to bump mapping, click the little checker there and click the file there, same way that you do for your texture images. Bump depth, um, I'm going to do it to 0 0.5, still quite deep. That'll be nice, and I'm going to select the file, which is bump chart one. Okay, and close that down. Now you don't see anything on the screen. It's because we haven't rendered it out yet. So I'm going to render this out, and you will see the effect. Here we go. So if you look now, you'll see. that some of it is indented and some of it is extruded out and if we look at our Photoshop so see here it's indented here it's pushed out if we look you can see why it's pushed out and the black goes in but it is all based on the background so this background is kind of a mid grey so that's why you get this coming in as um, outwards and you get the it starts to go into itself as the colour changes so looking at that it should give you an idea of what we're going to do with our gum when we model it and to get uh, lines to indent uh, give creases and things using this but it is based upon what the background color is if I did that background color as a black then it wouldn't really do anything so you need to use that you need to that needs to be in the middle for you to govern your um, pushing out and pushing in um, on these on these scales so if you download that as bump chart one from the address I gave you before in the last tutorial then you can actually put it into use and figure it out for yourself it's one of those things you need to look at it um, to understand it but of course um, you need to render it out to see it I just want to show you now um, that about the bump value and how the bump value can alter things quite dramatically so we set it at 0 0.05 which is a pretty much a pretty much a standard one but now I'm going to increase it so I'm going to come back into my bump mapping values and follow up my bump map and I'm going to set this to 2 now and now I'm going to render it out look at it now much more pronounced and you can see it's really really pushing and starting to do some really quite weird things if we zoom in a bit closer you can see see where we're going with this so there you go so that kind of gives you a little bit unrealistic but you can see where I've also feathered the edges on this chart you can see the Photoshop chart this is solid there is no feathering this one is one pixels worth of feather on this one five and this one ten and that's to show you the difference you tend to get a smoother um, indent if you add normally between one and five or on the feather just needs a little bit it's a little bit harsh on the zero feathering so also bear that in mind you can see there that it's a bit 
it's a bit too much but this between the one and the five are giving quite nice indents quite nice push in and push out of course these were white text just put in here and it's really quite harsh that uh, if I'd have anti-alias the text or um, Gaussian blurred it slightly then uh, it would have given me a smoother appearance than it is now and in fact it's sharp text so you would have thought it would be reversed but it's not so look at that have a play around create a block and then just put this over the top as a, as a bump map um, just to understand it before we move on to modeling a gun although on the gun we're not going to have much uh, too much bump mapping going on anyway um, because I'll be showing you later about normal maps which are a lot more controllable okay that ends this lesson so we'll bump map the gun in the next lesson